Okay guys, so migrating a website is not what you would call an easy task, is it? And you definitely need a good level of technical knowledge to make it happen. And even when you know what you're doing, it doesn't always work immediately. So today I'm going to show you what I consider to be the more seamless migration process that's available on the market, and that is WPX.net. Okay, so I hope you're as excited as I am. So let me show you how easy it is to migrate any website to WPX.net. Okay, so this is the website that we are going to migrate today. So the domain name is smlglobalcorporation.tech and as you can see it's a very professional looking finance website and there are multiple pages as well you have home services about us clients career and contact us so at the moment it is hosted with hostinger as you can see here and we're going to migrate this to wpx.net now from the wpx website all you have to do is basically log into your account and right here on top in the menu section you have migrations click on that and now we need to fill out this form as you can see it's a website migration request and basically they'll do all the work for you. you don't have to do anything at all which is absolutely great you know and this service is free unless as you can see here this is free migration completed within 24 hours now if you want express migration uh, I don't see the point to be honest you know there'll be a small fee obviously you know I think within 24 hours is more than acceptable anyways you know so if you scroll down the page you have your website here now you have to enter all your details so first you need to select the hosting plan where you want to migrate the website I only have one at the moment myself you know but if you have more than one uh, hosting uh, with WPX select the one where you want to migrate your website and then we need to enter the name of the website we want to migrate so in our case we said it was smlglobalcorporation.tech so this is our website here and then you have to enter your wordpress admin dashboard credentials so basically the link where you access your wordpress admin dashboard and then your username password and if you want to migrate any subfolders this is option obviously enter just information here now this is the most important part you have to select the migration process as you can see you have a few different options here so if your website is hosted with siteground select this option here and all you have to provide them is basically the link to your cpanel or your username email address and password that's basically it and they'll take care of everything for you now if your website uh, has cpanel use this option here you can also do so with with ftp and sftp ssh backup or migration with a plugin so all these different options will be obviously different uh, case scenarios based on your situation now i cannot make this decision for you so depending on on the type of hosting that you have you'll have to select either of those options so in our case here for us, we're going to just migrate with a plugin. And again, this is the easiest method. So if you don't have access to any of those credentials, or maybe you're not too tech savvy, or you don't know where to find them all together, I would highly recommend you select this option here, migration with a plugin. Again, this is the easiest one, okay? So email boxes. So do you want to migrate your emails all together? Yes, I want to. Maybe I have third-party emails, maybe using Zoho, Google Apps, or Office 365. Or I don't want to transfer my emails. So if you're hosting your emails and you have a lot of them, they'll do all of that for you. So if you want to move your mailboxes here, you have to enter your email address, a pop in SMTP servers, email address and your password so where can you find those details here uh, incoming server and outgoing server i'm just going to show you here quickly with hostinger so if you go back to your account and then you go to emails so there you go we have our email here info at and then we go to configuration settings and here's the information that they're looking for basically as you can see, you have incoming server, so pop.hostinger.com, and outgoing server, smtp.hostinger.com. So that's basically the information you need to find. So this will be uh, located in different places, depending on your, which hosting provider you're using, obviously, you know. But basically, what you need to ask for is the SMTP and pop server, uh, so basically incoming and outgoing. And then once you have this, you can copy and paste them here, basically, okay? So let's keep scrolling down the page. So you have additional information. So this is not required, you know. In which folder are the websites file? If you know that you can enter the information and also about the database, okay? So does the website require a module like IonCube and SOAP? So IonCube is related to security and SOAP is just a messaging feature, okay? So this is really up to you. So I'm just gonna say no here myself, you know? And then you can scroll down the page and would you like to install a caching plugin on your website and they'll do that for you for free as well. You can select among different options, you know, or you can add it manually yourself. Again, select any of those options. And once you're done, all you have to do is click submit and within 24 hours, your website will be migrated. 
Okay guys, so I've entered all the required details and now I'm ready to submit this. So just to show you the date now, we are Monday the 22nd of May. It's half 11 in the morning, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to actually submit this and we're going to see how long it's going to take for them to uh, take care of the migration, okay? So let's submit this together and there you go. So that's done already. And as you can see right here, this is the date it's been submitted, okay? So now let's wait and see how long it's going to take for them to actually migrate the full website. Okay, guys, so that's done already. Check this out. So we got a message here. Your website, smlglobalcorporation.tech, was added successfully and the time is 11.47. So that was very, very fast indeed. And as you can see, I received an email here uh, from an hour ago. So it's 12.21 now. And the migration was completed successfully. So that took about, I'd say, maybe an hour, an hour and a half, maybe tops. So that was extremely, extremely fast, as you can see. So now there's only one step left. I need to change those name servers here because basically the domain name was registered with Hostinger. And now I need to point this domain to WPX.net. So all you have to do is basically copy this one, okay? Because it's NS1, NS2, NS3. So name server one, name server two, name server three. So if you go back to our domain name, here I'll go to advanced and in advanced I will find a DNS zone so again this might be different depending on which hosting provider you have you know and if I scroll down the page as you will see at the moment we have ns1 dnsparking.com and ns2 dnsparking.com so what we need to do is basically get rid of those two and replace them with the new values so there you go I've done that already so as you can see ns1 ns2 ns3 and pointing to wpx.net okay and once you've done that you have to wait for the new DNS to propagate and if you want to check the progress of the DNS propagation, you can always go on Google and type in check DNS propagation and you can open any of them. So I'm used to this one here myself, uh, dnschecker.org. Click on this. All you have to do is type your domain name right here and select name servers here, NS, and then search. And as you can see, they have propagated already, which means that our website should be available, except a few countries here. You can, you can see still the old DNS but generally speaking, uh, we should be able to access it now. So let's go back here now and let's refresh. And there you go. Now we are hosted with WPX.net. Now, if you want to find out why you shouldn't host your online courses with Kajabi, Udemy or Teachable or any of those platforms, but rather use WPX.net, you might go and watch this video here.